Morning, guys. Hope you're having a a great Monday morning after a good Easter weekend. Wanted to get you something first out the bat. We're going to talk about uh, protections, and we're just going to go through it piece by piece. Get a little bit at a time. We'll talk about this in our meeting more. Uh, if you have questions tonight, um, want to talk about half slide protection, and just to go through the theory of the half slide protection where it came from. Um, one of the main protections you guys learn early on in football is full slide. And in the example up here, if we were going full slide, we would go Lee because uh, we would slide to the three tech. And then everybody would work to the left. And that would be a full slide protection. And then that would require the running back or full back or H back, whoever that is, to go one on one with the um, defensive end. Now, that's not always a good look for us uh, and most teams, uh, unless they have a real solid guy in here uh, that they can do that. Uh, and, you know, we, we don't know, we may get to that point. But instead of doing that, uh, or which is even worse, if it was half slide to the right and all you guys went to the right. That would mean the tackle would slide and block nobody. And then that H back, it probably be lined up here, would be responsible for that. That's a horrendous pass protection, in my opinion, because you take one of your bigs and he has nobody to block. And then you give a mismatch to the um, uh, H back. So, what we do in this scenario uh, is uh, we will half slide. So that means we'll have a slide side and a stuck side. Now, determining the slide side, we say, is the first uncovered lineman to the stuck side, okay? We'll start the slide. So let me make sure I get that explained. Okay, if this is the slide side over that way, and this is the stuck side, so we start just like we do when we run blocking with the stuck side, okay? Uh, is he covered? Yes, he's stuck, okay? Is he covered? No. So just like in the run, the next thing he can do is start the slide, okay? So the slide would start here. Go one, two, three, four, okay? Now we look at that, okay? That four, those four blockers right there can block any combination of four out of these guys, okay? That'll come into play later. The running back in this scenario, we put the, the running back here because the slide is going to the right and the running back goes opposite. And the running back would read one to two linebackers to his side, okay? So he gets to the line of scrimmage. And notice the way I'm drawing these blocks. We are not retreating on slide protection. We're going one half gap over and we're holding that tough line of scrimmage, okay? Tackle is stuck. So he would have this guy who's supposed to be in the end, a typo there, okay? All right. And in most cases, uh, let's say we were running China out here just for yucks, then the fullback would be to the flat, okay? And that would give us China out there. Now, if it were uh, let me back up yeah, get that running back out of there. Okay. So if the running back were involved in the pattern, let's say he bounced early, then it would be the job of the, um, you know, right. It'd be the job of the H to block. So the running back goes out, he's into China. Okay. Now the fullback would slide to there which in most cases I would call it ram far, which would put him here, each slide right there, okay? All right, so that's the half slide protection. All right, now let's talk about each individual job. The guard is starting the slide. So that means that the rule for the guy starting the slide is nobody can cross your face, okay? So let's say they had a stun on and this guy tried to go that way. Well, you have to take it. Nobody crosses your face. That's because the running back or whoever is setting for the linebacker. So I don't want to turn a down lineman on to a uh, running back. So here's how it will work out. 
Okay, nobody crosses your face. You take your step. He slants here. Okay, you slide back to him. The, the running back who's coming sees that hole closed off and fill a gap. Now, let's say they're doing that. Boom, there you go. That's how we accomplish that stunt. These continue their slide. Okay, you don't chase anybody to your backside. And that's one thing I had to tell you. The only thing you can do backside of you in a slide protection is to use your hand to help. You will not turn back in slide protection. That's the number one thing that gets us wrong. Because teams will do, uh, let's look at the center guard now. Teams will do this right here. Okay. And you can use your hand to help your center who's sliding that way to take that. But you can't turn back because the second you turn back, here we go. Sam Blast, Sam linebacker through B gap. And if your eyes are inside, you'll get caught. Okay. So that's slide protection. So that call right there would be Rambo. Okay. That'd be Rambo. And let's, let's go ahead and look at it drawn out. Okay. There we go. Okay. That complete call right there would be Rambo stick east. Okay. Rambo stick east would be the call. All right, that way everybody's working their has protections. Okay, so let's look at some stunts versus that and how we would pick it up. Okay. Uh, in, out. Boom. That guy belongs to the running back. Okay, remember, guard, you can't turn back because you turn back, you give up this A gap. So that's we handle that stuff. Okay. Let's look at um, crossfire. Boom. There you are running back. Okay. And what I would do, the guard and center for this guy right here, center, you have no immediate threat. Let's say the whole line is going away from you and you see them going away from you, to get everybody moving this way so they can open that gap. Okay. All I would do is present your butt and help the guard pin that guy right on your backside. But your eyes have to stay here because when you see this guy going away, you don't know that it's not this right here. And we drill all of this. It's not a tackle, a TA stunt. Okay. That way your eyes don't get going jibbity jibbity. They're always in the right place. Okay. All right. So moving forward, that was a uh, half slide. Now let's look at how half slide protection works. Uh, depending on when we're working, I may, I may call a play to the left. So the quarterback's going to the left. So I would want the slide going to the left because I want our biggest players protecting the quarterback on this situation. Okay. All right. So I call Lobo. Now let's look at this side. Okay, he's stuck. He's stuck. It's Lobo, so the tailback fits in A-gap and dual reads Mike and Sam. Okay, center, guard, and guard here again. If you don't have an immediate threat, don't go running out here. Remember, you get one half gap. And if you just take your half gap, stick your hand inside to help him, but keep your eyes here, you're doing your job. Okay, I don't need you looking back inside because the second you look back inside, they do this right here. And if you're looking inside, that guy's got a free path to the quarterback and we don't want that. Okay, so that would be Lobo. What we try to do in all our half slide pro our protections is match play action. All right, so here. We got Rambo up top here, Rambo far, a Ram far. Okay, tight end. Boy, my typing is terrible this morning. And you got the H going to the left. Okay, in the pattern. So we're bringing the back across and clip. Motion this way. This motion is designed for one thing, and you'll see it on the play. If that running back is play action that way, we know for a fact this guy's going to be entertained and come up and fill his gap. Meanwhile, the H is going right by him to the flat. OK, 
Okay, and you'll see it here. Not only that, but because we got to follow a backside call, the Y is coming over right in the same window. So we're ending up with one, two, three receivers to the left side on a play that started with everybody on the right. And so understand that your protection is critical in order to make sure that this play gets off. So look at what we're facing here. Okay. This guy walks up right here. There's no guarantee he's going to cover that Y. He may very well come, or come off here. Okay. So this is a situation, right tackle, where we have to make a wild call. What does wild mean? Wild means wide threat. The W is for wide threat. Heck, you can speak plain English. Just say wide threat. I got my eyes on the on whatever his number is. Let's say he's 58. I got my eyes on 58. And this is where the communication comes in. Okay? Because we will set to that guy. You will set here. Center will come here. Everybody will slide further to the right and make sure that we got this guy blocked. Now, if he doesn't come, if he goes in, in a coverage, all you do at that point, tackle, is you, you'll probably get this guy to your face anyway, and you just go ahead and remain there. Guard, if you have stepped out, you just present your butt and help there, okay? All right, but we don't go running way out here and create extra gaps in here, okay? That's what we don't do. But this is a good play. How do I get to the uh, replay? I have a replay on this one. Let me go back to this one. Okay, I'll go here first. All right, so let's look at let's look at our setup. Okay, call should be Rambo. Okay, that means. Uh, we got a wide threat here. Hopefully we make, hopefully we made a wild call. Hopefully made a wild call. Right tackle, you're there. Right guard, you're there. Center, you're there. Depending on you here. But remember, you can't let this guy cross your face. Running back slides right here. He'll be blocked by the goalposts. And Stanley, you're stuck. So that's how we get to Rambo. In this situation, this fullback is either out in the, in the flat, or if I call Max, Ram Rambo Max, you would help there. Okay? So we if, if we did that, we'd have seven guys. So there's no way in the world a team should get through bringing less than eight guys. We should have them all covered up by knowing our assignments, all right? So let's look at how we carve it up here. Okay. So far, so good. We were in max, so there was no wild call on, but I'm looking across the board. We're locked up here, okay? A little bit of a overslide here because that guy came inside, your guy came inside, and he hesitated because he's watching that guy. Okay, running back is on his way, should get to the line. Should he come, you would have him. So pretty good. We got the protection we need. We're running a deep, a deep ball down the field. We, we This is what I want. A little bit stronger here, left guard. Don't relax at the end. Okay. Don't relax at the end. We got guys looking backside. They should be looking this side. Okay. The running back is here. All eyes should be to the right. All right. But we do get to pass off. We got to clean that up a little bit. And that's how we get a big play. And Lyman, we get a big play. Let's get on the ball because you know uh, Black or, or some other, we're going fast. So, you know, when we had a big play like that, get on the ball. Get on the ball. I see who is that over here signaling get down the field. Okay. I can't tell who that is, but that's a good job. Oh, that's ice. Good job. Tell everybody, let's go. 
because y'all know thing about me is when we get a big play on the defense, I, I like to attack. No time to celebrate. Let's go ahead and get up there. So I'm wondering how we ended up inside. They must have slanted and brought our eyes inside. So we'll we'll look at look at this play again uh, today when we uh, get together. Okay. Thought I had a video clip for that one. Okay, here we go. I have one for this one. And we'll look at these again. But let me just run through it. Okay, so the call is clip. That way we know the running backs going to the left. Okay, we divide it up to the right. Fortunately, they got a shade right here. So we'll come down there. We'll come down there. We'll come down there. We'll come down there. And here we go. We need to make a wild call because he's he's not technically out over him. He's a threat. So the right tackle should have eyes on him in case he does this. OK, now look at this. I know we got a, a good play coming, guys. No, we got a good play because we're overloaded to the right and we're taking everything back to the left as far as our routes. OK, I'd like to see a little harder F.O.R. there by that outside receiver. You kind of lollygagged it. I know you didn't think you were the primary receiver because the corner's off. But here again, drop that guy as deep as possible. So when we catch that ball, look at here, third and five. That's all we got to get. All right, coming from the backside, this will be the wide this year. This will be the tight end in Ram. Coming right there as quickly as possible. Okay, it's a great play for you because this is the only linebacker who can cover the flat. That corner's back and dropping. This is the only guy that can cover the flat. Sure, they can bring the safety down, but if they do that, we'll get that, you know what, okay? And then backside here, we should have a splitter. But this is a good play. And the reason I'm telling you that is because your protection is the key. Okay, quarterback has time to set, read that corner, that corner drop, quarterback, throw it right down, okay? Throw it right now. He catches that ball, gets that first down because that's what it's all about. We need to start thinking first downs, first downs, first downs, first downs, then touchdown, okay? All right, so let me run through this play real quick. Look at our protection. Okay, good. I mean, this is this is what I'm, I'm going to tell you. I sleep good at night when I see stuff like this. That That's a pocket, gentlemen. That is a beautiful pocket, okay? I don't know what he's doing, but he ain't rushing. That's fine, okay? Only thing I want y'all to do is have that pocket maybe up uh, another yard and a half, not so deep drops, because here again, we're in slide protection. So let's keep these guys right, right here at the line of scrimmage, okay? And then we'll be able to uh, give that quarterback a pocket and uh, make a good throw. Uh, he made a throw, but uh, it was a little bit harder when you had this right here. You had this right here, and he's going that way, and, and if not that, this behind, and then look at either one of these, catch those balls and get the first down, and that's what we're looking for. So anyway, hey, it takes all 11 guys. Uh, we have 10 sacks last year. Uh, let's get that down to less than a half a sack a game, okay? Let's go games where we don't have a sack, where all, every ball's coming out. Uh, and that's why I say it takes everybody. It takes quarterback, takes receivers knowing when they're hot. It takes uh, protection, running backs, blocking with in protection, everything that we can do. So anyway, all right. I hope that's helpful. Uh, I will see you tonight on the meeting. Uh, we'll go over some more of this. Bring your questions and, and you guys have a good day.